We're back with another tech video today, and this one in particular, I am very excited to dive into. One of the hardest things I have trouble keeping up with is tech, which is kind of ironic considering I am a tech content creator, a developer, public speaker in tech, everything tech, my life feels like it revolves around. Yet, it's still very hard to keep up, and I don't think I'm alone on that. So while I was surfing the internet the other day, I came across this website that actually breaks down up-to-date current data in really beautiful graphs. This isn't sponsored by them or anything like that. I just thought it was really cool. And I thought, you know what? I wanna share with you some of my findings through going through this website, looking at the graphs. It's kind of mind blowing. So here are some of the graphs we're gonna go through. What degrees are worth the most? Like what degree should you be getting today? Another one is top tech talent hubs in North America. What are the top cities to work in for tech? Another one is the time it takes new technologies to go mainstream. This really blew my mind from looking back a few years to where we are now. And another one is the most popular gen AI tools. Now there's a few other ones that we're gonna cover which I'm very excited about such as what country is most prepared? What? I don't know where that came from. What country? What country is most prepared for AI continuing to boom? It's, yeah, it's not what you think. But let's get into it. Let's just dive right into these graphs here and learn more about the top tech trends for 2024. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Okay, now let's get into it. Okay, you can see on screen here, this is which degrees are worth the most. And take a second to look at this. Does it surprise you? Or even before you looked at this, is this what you thought it would be? Number one is engineering with the average salary at, no, not, is this average salary? Sorry, a degree's return on investment is its expected lifetime value compared to working after high school. Okay. So number one is engineering. Now this could be a variety, I mean, it's pretty broad engineering, but it is very interesting when you start thinking about, especially the world we live in now with engineering, computer science, and the media really portraying that AI is taking all of these jobs in tech, when in reality, AI is changing every job in every single industry, but it's really honing in on tech because before the AI boom, tech was the most sexiest industry to be part of, right? So now that AI is affecting it as well as every other industry, they're really honing in on tech. And, and I, I get it, tech is really changing quickly, but it is really promising to see engineering for 2024 still at number one, with number two being computer and information sciences at 477,000. Now let's go a little bit down more. What are some of the lower ones here? Okay, we have, 39K legal studies, not being a lawyer, but just legal studies. Foreign languages is at 26, interesting. But yeah, the top four, engineering, computer and information sciences, mathematics and engineering technicians. So if you were wondering what degree to get into, focusing still on engineering or anything around computer science is apparently still a really great way to go. I would listen to the data, not the media. <laughs> All right, let's go through another, another uh, graph here. This one was pretty cool to me. So this is the top tech talent hubs in North America. Now, before we share it actually, what do you think of your number one? Leave in the comments, I'm curious to hear. So number one is, which I thought was too obvious still. I tried to be different and think of maybe it was New York or I don't know, but it's still San Fran. Then we have coming in at number two is actually New York. So this is, the highest concentration of tech workers. So where most of the tech workers are. So San Fran is number one, New York is number two. It's interesting, so I live in Toronto, in Canada, I'm a Canadian, and is it number three? That's kind of wild. Between 2018 and 2023, Toronto added the most tech talent jobs. Come move to Toronto. We got tech here, that's pretty cool. Now, what else do we have here? What are some of the lower ones? Okay, Calgary, which is in Canada, is pretty low, but it's still booming, it's getting there. I've heard it's a booming booming place. And I think Austin and Dallas, I think those two, and Houston, I think those two are definitely going to be coming up. But this is very up to date. Well, it's from 2023, so it's still pretty up to date. That's pretty cool. Do you wanna live in one of those cities? That's my thing. I wouldn't wanna live in San Fran. I love visiting it, great city, but I don't know. New York I could do. I'm more of an East Coaster, I think. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is the time it takes new technologies to go mainstream. This is pretty cool. Check out this graph. Now, I know your eye is automatically going to want to go to the most current year, but start at the bottom in 1920 with the radio. So it took the radio 30 years to go mainstream. 30 years, that's wild. Then if you fast forward to the TV, it was 30 years. So it shows the year it was invented and the year of mass adoption. I really like the internet too, 24 years. So obviously it was invented in the 70s for more of 
the, the military side of things, and then now to 1994, not now, but in 1994, became mainstream. But if you fast forward, you can see it starting getting faster and faster. And now with, you know, even USB sticks they had, that took nine years. Now they don't have the exact time it took for blockchain or gen AI to go mainstream, but I would say that was within a year. I mean, and, but here's the thing, they've been working on those technologies for a long time. So how do you calculate that? But Gen AI, once the public heard about it, if we define it by that, it would be under a year, which is pretty wild to think about how we are as a society, as a culture, as a human race, really, becoming so accustomed to tech changing so fast. I don't know, are our bodies on like fight or flight mode 24 seven now? Cause we're just like, okay, a new tech, here we go. I don't know, but this is a pretty cool chart. Now this is interesting. The next one I have up on screen here is the most valuable media brands for 2024. We don't have to go through them all. You can pause it, take a look at it yourself as well. But number one being Google at $33 billion. That is wild. And this is from September, 2024. So this is only a few months old, this data. Uh, number two being TikTok. I, I didn't see that coming. Three, Facebook. I thought, I thought that would be number two or number one even. And then going down to number 10 is LinkedIn. I didn't think LinkedIn would be that high. Good for LinkedIn. If anyone works at LinkedIn, leave in the comments what it's like to work there. I feel like it'd be a good place to work. Okay, this one is interesting. This is the most popular Gen AI tools out there. Now, no surprise here, this number one is ChatGPT. I definitely thought that would be the case with 2.3 billion visits. It's kind of mind blowing. The second one is Gemini. I love Google Gemini. I didn't think it would be second. I thought it would be, let me see here. I thought it would be, I'm just seeing if it's on the list. I thought it would be Claude. I thought it would be Claude. Maybe that's because I use Claude. That's my, my go-to. I mean, I use them all, but that is very interesting. Okay, this one's pretty cool. The companies that acquired the most startups, number one being Alphabet, Google's Alphabet. So startups they acquired, and this is from transaction completed between 2000 and 2024. So this is very relevant. Alphabet acquired 222 startups. I had no idea. Imagine if you invested in one of those startups, that's pretty wild. Uh, number two being Microsoft, 140. Three, Cisco. I did not expect Cisco to be so high either. Yeah, and there's some expected ones, Meta, Amazon, Siemens, that's an interesting one. And then it has a note here. Silicon Valley companies are responsible for about a third of all startup requirements, or sorry, acquisitions, which makes sense. I mean, even a graph we looked at earlier where it showed the number one place that tech workers live being Silicon Valley, well, San Fran. All right, got one more here I wanna go through, which is really interesting to end off with, which is AI, who is most prepared? Before I share this actually on screen here, what country do you think is most prepared? I'm really interesting. Okay, let's pull this up now. Okay, so this says AI preparedness rankings are based on an index considering four main factors, digital infrastructure, human capital, technological innovation, and legal frameworks. So definitely, okay, so US got 0.77. Hmm, Europe ranked higher. Whoa, Singapore? That's the most prepared country for AI? I was not thinking that. What? I gotta do some research now. Let me Google this. Singapore AI, boom. Wow. They're living in the future, literally with the time change and also figuratively with AI. That's really cool. I had a feeling Europe would be really high on the list, obviously, because of them setting, they're being really ahead on setting regulations around data and the use of AI. Uh, but I did not expect to see Singapore there, I guess because I'm not very knowledgeable on Singapore's tech scene. So that's very cool. If you are knowledgeable, knowledgeable, I need to have less coffee. If you are knowledgeable about their tech scene, comment below what, what it's like. Now I wanna go to Singapore but it's so far. Anyways, very interesting. Sweden, Germany, Denmark are all up there. Very similar to the US. I don't know, I, I feel like Europe's more prepared than the US, but I guess overall with these four factors, they're pretty much the same. Okay, those are the charts we are going through today. It's super interesting and fascinating, and I hope through watching this video and going through these charts with me, you learned a lot of interesting data points too. I will see you all in the next video. All right, I gotta go. I was gonna say have more coffee, but no more coffee. Hit that subscribe button for more tech, tech news, AI, coding, all the good stuff, keeping you up to date with everything. All right, I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.